Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martins here with your outlook for January 4th, 2018. I uh, usually, for those of you that watch the video, uh, you know that I put these up the night before. I actually am recording this at 6 a.m. this morning, so this is a as close to live as possible. Uh, and I want to do this on purpose just to, because I wanted to see what the radar was doing and got up this morning and saw no snow here where we're at here in the Lehigh Valley. And uh, some of you are probably gonna like, oh no, there's going to be a bust. Well, I just say hold on for a little bit. Just hold on for a little bit. This is the current radar, uh, and everything's going to be filling in as this low pressure starts coming up the coast. It is starting to bomb out and really bomb out uh, off the coast, but these uh, bands will start filling in coming west. Uh, the problem is here on the northwest side, and we talked about this all week. This should not be a surprise to anybody if you follow the videos. There was going to be fight, we're going to be fighting dry air and confluence with that trough coming in. So uh, if there's going to be a bust area, it's going to be right up here. If, if, still not there yet, if. Uh, but we have uh, some, some moisture coming in uh, that's going to move in from east to west, and some of the schools have closed in advance of that up here in this area. So let's go over to the National Weather Service warnings and advisories. Everything here in the blue is uh, winter weather advisories. The pink is winter storm warnings, and we have blizzard warnings down here by uh, in the coastal counties of New Jersey and Delaware. And the reason for that uh, is area-wide today, we expect some very windy conditions. Uh, winds are going to be 15 to 25 miles per hour, gust of 40 in the interior northwest of I-95. And about 20 to 30 with gusts to 50 possible down here in parts of South Jersey. So you have a lot of heavy snow falling right now in these areas. You're going to have a lot of blowing and drifting snow, uh, poor visibilities, and that's the reason. You don't, need, don't necessarily, people hear the word blizzard and then they automatically assume, wow, two, three feet of snow. No, it doesn't necessarily mean that. It just it really has to do with the wind more than anything else. Uh, so a lot of blowing and drifting of snow going on down here. But you're still going to get a decent amount. I do expect uh, you know, some areas might get up to a foot down here in southern New Jersey. Maybe even more than that. I wouldn't be surprised if you get some isolated spots of 13, 14 inches, but down there in uh, some of those heavier areas. But it will be hit pretty hard right along the coast, and we knew that all along. Now, uh, here is a look at the GFS, and this is, again, this is a very wrapped up system. Now, this is looking at this morning. Most of the heavier bands, South Jersey, you know, in Delaware, which we see now. Uh, the models are then trying to take this, as this moves up northward, the bands are going to start rotating around it and shifting to the northwest a little bit. So that's when you get into your action. I know it's delayed. I know you're probably waking up going, oh, well, we're supposed to get snow on the ground already. It was supposed to, he said it was supposed to start, uh, start overnight and it's not started yet. Well, just give it time. Let's give it time. Again, we were talking about this in the video the last couple of days. There was an incoming trough right here. And on the western side, you're going to have sinking air. And that sinking air is going to be fighting uh, the snow coming in. But I do think you might get some, uh, some heavier bands that will offset that during the course of the morning. Just to give it some time. But if there is a bust area, that, that would be it. Okay. Uh, again, here's a 5 o'clock in the morning radar. So this matches up fairly well to what we're at right now. Uh, and you see there's really not too much going on at 6, 7, and then uh, 8 starts filling in a little bit. And it starts, look, look at this band that just starts moving in from the west here. All right, and it's not going to get too far west. Here's 10, uh, here's 11, here's noon. So when you get through the noon hour, it's, uh, it's showing that uh, it's much farther west. This is where you get your accumulations in those western fringe areas, okay, uh, if it were to occur. It could very well end up that our range is out here, that we have our, we have our 1 to 2 range right in through here. Uh, this is our one to two inch range. If you're within that corridor right there, uh, there is a bus potential here. And that's because the dew points are so low in there right now. And it's going to take some heavier banding coming in uh, during the course of this morning in order, to, in order to offset that. Can that happen? Yes. Are we changing anything right now? No. But we've talked about this all week. So any of you that are going to be putting on put these, these comments on the Facebook page, I'm going to completely ignore them. The I told you so's or the the bus, uh, you didn't tell me anything. I've been talking about this all week about this bus potential on the west side because of that confluence and the dry air initially. So if we can get those bands to offset that, uh, you can still get those accumulations as predicted. Okay, but if it doesn't happen, that's your bus corridor at that point and which points northwest. Uh, east of there, I don't see an issue. Don't see an issue. Okay, you should have snow. Uh, that should be able to overcome the, the dew points are higher further south and east same thing New Jersey here much of New Jersey dew points are much higher uh, as you get away from that trough and away from that confluence so, so the NAM certainly th th uh, thinks everything's going to be uh, hunky-dory so does the H HRRR which is the high resolution rapid refresh 
These are total accumulations for the system. This is without ratios factored in. Of course, you have to remember ratios are going to be part of this. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're still getting it's it, the west side. Look at this cutoff. Look at this cutoff. It's unbelievable on the west side here. There's a huge cutoff. And I can see that happening. Uh, but these amounts here are still getting to the minimum ranges. I think you get at least some snow there. Uh, and the models are starting to indicate that too. Uh, again, it shows the indicate. This is the uh, hourly. Uh, updated model that we're looking at the uh, high resolution rapid refresh this is starting off at 5 a.m. you can see it's really pretty close to what's going on right now and then you move it, it's uh, showing that once you go through the course of the morning that you get some of these heavier bands moving in here you see that so they're all showing it we'll just have to wait and see how that develops on radar uh, I want to go past this because if we do have another system to talk about we're gonna get very windy very windy into Friday morning wind chills tomorrow morning are gonna be ridiculous teens below zero okay so uh, bundle up. It's going to be very cold on Friday morning, uh, overnight and Friday morning. Remaining windy during the day here on Friday. Uh, and then as we get later in the day, uh, well, probably going to be pretty breezy all day here Friday as well. All right. Uh, once we get into Saturday, still a little bit breezy, but not quite as breezy. Well, we go into uh, mostly sunny skies over the weekend. We're going to be bitterly cold Friday, Saturday, start to moderate a little bit on Sunday. But when I say moderate, moderate we're going to go from highs of 10 to maybe 20 okay so that's your that's what you're looking at from the jump from uh, Saturday the big warm-up all right we do warm up a little bit uh, further than that though on Monday and there's gonna be a system coming in from the west this is along a frontal boundary uh, you could have a little odd icy mix here this doesn't look like a huge deal right now models are not really showing this being a huge event but it could be one of those deals where you're dealing with some light snow going over to a wintry mix. You can see that right in here. See these uh, pinks here? This is indicating some freezing rain. Uh, so we'll have to watch this. This could be a, a little icy situation here on uh, Tuesday morning. Because uh, it looks like most of this is coming in later Monday and Monday night. So you have a little icy, freezing rain, slow uh, kind of thing. Uh, so in further south, we'll just be going over to rain, it looks like. Uh, but it doesn't look like we're going to get any big storm out of that. It's just a... A, uh, right now, just a light to moderate event, not a real big deal. And then once we get beyond that, uh, we do turn colder again after, well, t Tuesday won't be, but we will be here on Wednesday as high pressure moves in behind it, and we turn mostly sunny. So again, we're going to watch the radar today. Where's the radar? There it is. Uh, we're going to watch the radar today for these bands that are coming in here. You're, you're getting some that just might be enough to saturate the atmosphere you could get a few flakes and then once it leaves you know you have to wait on some of this stuff to build in from the west i do think this is going to build in during the course of the morning give it some time like i said if there's bus potential it's going to be in this corridor from uh lancaster to maybe Reading and allentown and up to pike county and points northwest that's the areas we're watching for a potential bust elsewhere should be fine uh, but just because I'm highlighting that area doesn't necessarily mean that's going to occur. We're going to wait and see what these bands do moving in from the west. It's a watch the radar type thing. And uh, it's going to be fighting the dry air initially. But if you get these heavier bands persistent enough, they will break through that dry air and it will reach the ground. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for January 4th, 2018. Have a great Thursday.